As you all know by now, Ducati has introduced a whole new engine for the company, a single cylinder called the Super Quadro Mono. It's this one right here. Well, not this actual one, but it's the uh, first new engine concept for Ducati since the V4. And then, you know, before that, Ducati has been known as a V-twin company for the longest time. So with me, I have Luca Bandiera, the what would you call your title now? The engine project manager. Engine project manager. Uh, so for this piece, we're going to do a bit of a tech talk about the new engine. You can watch the separate video for my full thoughts on the Hypermotard 698 Mono separately. Uh, Luca, as a brief overview, tell me about the new engine and when did this all start? Yes, we have started four years ago the design activities of this brand new engine. And at the beginning, we have uh, uh, decided to, to use the uh, most powerful twin cylinder we had, uh, that was the uh, Superbike 1299 Panigale engine, and decided to use this to obtain this new single cylinder. So let's now talk about What's similar to the 1299? What's different from the 1299? Yes, the Super Quadro Mono share with the Super Quadro Twin Cylinder the same uh, key thermal components. That means the same piston, the same combustion chamber, the same desmodromic system, intake and titanium valves. You talked about only a single fuel injector and a single spark plug. Why is that? Okay, we have developed the uh, intake of this new engine with a oval throttle body of 62 mm and as per the twin cylinder, we have just one spark plug for cylinder. The intake design is optimized to be a high performance engine in this configuration, with this configuration. So obviously the key competition here is from KTM and the 690 engine from them. How much of a benchmark was that engine for the design of this one? Yes, for sure, KTM is the, is the, is the competitor of this uh, uh, engine. What we want to do with this new uh, single cylinder is the most powerful, tightest revving and the very light single cylinder engine. And what we have uh, obtained is a 77.5 horsepower single cylinder in the OEM configuration uh, with a maximum torque of 63 newton meter. What we have is a very smooth and torque delivery. The 80% of torque is available since 4,500 RPM up to the rev limiter. And the rev limiter is set at more than 10,000 RPM. This engine is capable to reach 10,250 RPM as a rev limiter. That's an incredible number. So how, with a single cylinder engine, how do you, how are you able to reach such a high RPM? Yes, the uh, starting point is the twin cylinder that has a 116 millimeter bore and we have a very short stroke with this uh, uh, extreme uh, bore versus stroke ratio, you are able to reach high RPM. The uh, connecting rod is out of steel. So then it was, uh, titanium intake valves and steel exhaust valves, correct? So theoretically, there's still room for even higher RPM if say titanium connecting rod or titanium exhaust valves, theoretically, correct? Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> we need to also set up the uh, intake, uh, air intake system sure. and exhaust system to go uh, upper yeah. with, uh, with RPM for sure. So with the cylinder head, I mean, obviously there's the desmodromic valve actuation, but the actual design of the uh, intake ports and the exhaust ports and the valve angle, everything the same as the 1299 yes. Superquadro? Yes, the desmodromic system is the same of the 1299 Panigale twin cylinder. Also for this engine, we used the, the same steel forged rocker arms, super finished with the DLC coating that allows to reach for this application a Desmo service mileage of 30,000 kilometers. That is very huge uh, mm -hmm. intervals. That means 18,000 yeah. miles. The intake, uh, air intake is specific design for this single cylinder. is an equivalent diameter of 62 millimeter for the throttle valve. This engine has one injector under the throttle valve. is a full ride-by-wire, so you can have three different power modes, high, medium, and low. 
In the high and medium power mode, you have the full power. Of course, in the medium uh, power mode, the uh, ride by wire is smoother than in the high one. While in the low power mode, you have just 58 horsepower. You mentioned a single cylinder inherently has vibration. How, what methods, I know there was, there's two counterbalancers in this engine, correct? Can you tell, tell me more about that? Yes, it's a single cylinder with two balanced countershafts that are positioned in the crankcase. Mm -hmm. You have one countershaft in the, in the front side of uh, uh, the crankcase and the second uh, countershaft in the rear side of the uh, crankcase. And in order to uh, reduce as possible the engine weight, these two counter shafts also driven the water pump and the feed oil pump and the scavenge oil pump. So when we're talking about counterbalancers for a single cylinder engine, my mind goes back to the Super Mono 1993, I believe that was, with the dummy piston design. Um, was there any sort of anything learned from that Super Mono engine that was applied here? So, Super Mono engine of the Terra was the very special prototype project, limited uh, number, limited edition. This is a new, brand new single cylinder engine that is designed and industrialized to produce in thousands of pieces. It's a Euro 5 content engine, fully homologated for street legal. Also, and I'm looking at the engine here, there was the Going back to the piston, it's an enormous piston, but uh, you look at the skirt of the piston, it's this, this tall. Tell us more about the, the skirt of the piston, the, the rings and why the design is that way. Yes, this is a, a forged aluminum piston. It's a, a racing design because it's a boxing box uh, piston. And this allows to have a very stiffness piston and in order to reduce the thrust surface and then to contain the friction. This box-in-box -box design also allows to have a light piston and this allows you to reach more than 10,000 revolutions. Sure. The overall weight of the engine is fairly light for a single-cylinder engine, correct? Yes, every component, every new component has been designed to be light. For instance, uh, the liner of this engine is an aluminum liner that was developed for the 1299 Superleggera, the limited edition, very expensive 1299 Superleggera. And we decided to use also in this single cylinder engine to have the lightest engine possible. The engine in this configuration has a weight of only 44.6 kilograms. It's a very good result for a Desmodromic 659cc engine. The, the transmission, the clutch pack, Everything uh, regarding the gears and the gear ratios, are those just carryovers from the 1299 as well, or are these specialized for this engine? They are specialized for this engine. The gearbox is specifically designed for this with the first gear long in order to be used in the low speed corners. Mm -hmm. And also the clutch has been specifically designed for, the, for this engine. It's an hydraulically controlled slipper and self servo oil wet clutch and it's designed together with the support of our tester in order to be very easy and intuitive to use especially in the braking condition to help the sliding maneuver in the corner entry phase actually being able to control the clutch from the rider's perspective to help do the sliding for the bike yes. is that the design aspect of it yes uh, i know you're not going to tell me the answer but what can we expect to see this engine and in the future. What we can say is that this engine is for a uh, super motor application, is what we are launching and you are testing and riding today. <laughs> and that's it, huh? <laughs> it was presented as this motorcycle, and I guess this engine too, is it's intended to be the entryway for new riders for Ducati to enter the brand. At the same time, it's an engine that has to satisfy experienced riders, people who have a lot of time on a motard or things like that. How do you balance the engine characteristics for brand new or more novice type riders and also experienced riders? Uh, yes, this uh, um, engine and this bike 
uh, want to be very attractive for young client, but uh, it's uh, a real Ducati engine. It's a Desmodromic Ducati engine with uh, uh, 77.5 horsepower and uh, the bike has a, a, a lot of electronic that you can set up mm. and starting to use a safe way and then when you get experience uh, customized both electronic and uh, from the vehicle side point of view the suspension so you can uh, customize the bike uh, as, your as your experience gets more you can change the characteristic of the yes. engine through the electronics, through the electronics. To, to suit yes. your to suit your experience i see Luca, thank you for your thank time. You I appreciate it. Uh, everybody, that was hopefully a detailed and uh, informative explanation of the new engine from Ducati. If you have questions about us about it, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to reach Luca afterwards and ask him these questions and uh, try and answer them for you. But uh, for now, that is a quick rundown of the new Super Quadro Mono engine. Um, again, look for the full review of the bike in a separate video, but until then, uh, see you later.